Today continues the Polly's series for this week, and this has been number three. This is an IPA called simply Balm. But what's it going to be like? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing another beer from the, the North West, North West, North Wales um supremos shall we say uh that's polly's brew company uh this is their balm it's an ipa coming in at six percent um and what else can i tell you well the hops that are used in this are citra mosaic and also a vic secret so let's crack this beer open get it out of the can into a glass and see if it's going to be up to the normal poly standards so, so far we've had the two new core, but there's loads more beers that they, they release. I'm actually thinking about doing another order um, because they've got so many good new ones. They've got a few New Zealand ones, uh, but they've got, they just release so many different beers. Now look at that, beer in a glass, absolutely what you're looking for. Custard color, two and a bit fingers, a very white compacted head. Looks absolutely superb. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, really juicy. I mean, there's lots of... I'm getting quite a bit of grapefruit, citrus fruits. And then there's sort of tropicalness in terms of sort of mango, papaya. Oh, it smells really good. Really juicy and really inviting. So let's get tucked in. Cheers, everyone. Soft, creamy. The biggest fruit I'm getting though is, is something I'm expecting more at the end than at the front. You don't usually get grapefruit at the front, but you're getting a lot of grapefruit on the front end, but it's very sort of, it's not overly sharp. It's just got this nice sort of very citrusy sort of flavour to it. So you've got grapefruit. You get other sort of fruits in there like he says we're getting other fruits in there. I'm trying to sort of get my head around what they are. Lychee. Almost gooseberries as well, you know. It's almost got that sort of Southern Hemisphere, New Zealand style flavours in it because the sharpness of that grapefruit is really nice. It really cuts through the beer. And it's quite unusual because usually you get a big hit of something... I don't know. I mean, you can get all big hits of all kinds of things up front, but usually it'll be more your stony fruits like your mangoes, peach, apricot, those sort of things. Or it might be more your sort of oranges or also pineapple and stuff like that. You don't usually get grapefruit on the up, really up front, but you get a lot of grapefruit and lots of other citrus. So very sharp sort of fruits, lemons and limes. Not something I'd associate with a citra mosaic and Vic Secret. Vic Secret... Oh, I always get confused with Vic Secret and Idaho 7. One of them's pineapple. I don't think Vic Secret is. I mean, Vic Secret, I don't know if that's... I think that may even be a summer, southern hemisphere. So you are getting those sort of... It's almost like a, a you know, a, a gooseberry, limes, grapefruits, grape even. It's really nice and refreshing. It's got this really nice cutting dryness that just it just really rounds the beer off really nicely. But the biggest hit is definitely a pink grapefruit on the front end, which I'm just trying to think back whether I've had a beer with a real sort of a grapefruit zest on the real one. As soon as you touch it to your lips, that's what you're getting. And, and we had that in the aroma as well. But it, it's really, it's, it, it makes it really refreshing. It's, it really sort of, that zestiness really cuts through anything. It's got a nice sort of soft, almost creamy mouthfeel. But it's strange because when you think of creaminess, you don't necessarily think of something quite sharp and citrusy. So they're, they're, they, that, that is a sort of balancing act. It's a cracking beer. And for an IPA, 6%. Yeah. You know, sometimes you think, oh, I've had so many sort of beers that, you know, you pull out and they look like that. And you think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to know what I'm going to expect from this. I'm going to expect the mango, the pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit, citrus fruits, all of that sort of stuff. But this... It surprised me how grapefruit is really up front and really sort of cuts through straight away um, to almost sort of, you know, to, well, not to almost, but to actually dominate the drink. But it's nice and soft. It's up to that sort of poly sort of standard 
fruity, refreshing. It's a cracking beer. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Polly's Balm. And this is an IPA in a 440 ml can. And it's got Citra, Mosaic, and Vic Secret. It's a really good beer. I mean, as soon as you open it up, pour it out, you think, yep, it looks pretty damn good. And actually, it smells good. So the, we start with the aroma. Yeah, you're getting this sort of sweet, slightly perfumey, very much pink grapefruit, but there's other things in there that you're not quite sure on what they are. I still don't know what they exactly. Am I getting a bit of lychee in there? Am I getting a bit of papaya? It, it smells, you know, some of the sort of more exotic tropical fruits, not yet, not that I'm saying things like mango and pineapple aren't exotic, but you know, you've heard of those and you have them in other things, but it's it's got something else in it, something a little bit more there's, a, there's more something more zesty and fresh smelling. So I think you're more your papayas, more your sort of um, lychee. Maybe also stuff like, not a tropical, but gooseberry and stuff like that. But it is quite dominant with those sort of real citrus. And it's very much sort of almost like a southern hemisphere smelling. So it's got a bit of grape in there. But pink grapefruit for me is the big, big aroma. And it smells pretty good. And more importantly, it's inviting and it want, makes you want it to drink it. So I'm giving it 14 for aroma. Appearance. Well, as I said, this is a cracking looking beer. I mean, again, anything that comes out, custody sort of colours, get the focus on the on the camera there. But look at the lacing, really nice lacing there. It it looks very, very good. I'm giving it a nine out of ten. Flavour wise, well. The big flavour up front is really grapefruit, but it's not overly sort of really big, sharp, you know, your yellow. It's definitely a pink grapefruit, it's slightly sweeter. And then you're getting a lot of sort of, to me, a lot of sort of those sort of Southern Hemisphere sort of flavours, grapes and melon, a bit of lychee, lime, those sort of things, gooseberry. It tastes though really refreshing. It's got a real sort of zest to it um, and it's very easy drinking and it's wrapped up in a poly sort of very soft mouthfeel, low levels of carbonation. It's got a very creamy sort of uh, mouthfeel to it. I think it's really good though. Flavour, 35 out of 40. Value for money. Well, I picked this one up. It was a little bit more than the other uh, the other beers. I mean, I'm not sure how much it'll be on the website. It's probably under five or on, on their website, but I'm sure I paid, I think, about 480 or something like that. Not bad, but, you know, it's not as cheap as some of the others that are under four quid, but I'm still giving it a solid eight out of ten. And the overall experience, well, sometimes, you know, being a YouTuber, you're drinking, you know, I do drink a lot of beer, but I'm sure I don't loads more than anyone else, but I do review a lot of the beer, nearly all the beers that I drink. Um, and you'd sort of, sometimes you think, oh, I'm gonna crack this open and I've got this anticipation it's gonna be the same sort of stuff. But this, there's something different about this. There's something, the grapefruit being up front is quite different. Usually that's a back end sort of flavor. This is really up front pink grapefruit, but it doesn't, as much as it's quite dominating as in, as the big sort of flavour, it doesn't. It's not. Oh, it doesn't overdo it. It doesn't make it really. Sometimes the grapefruit flavour can go into a real sharp bitterness, but and this and this doesn't. You know, it's just it's just a really zesty sort of flavour. And you've got other citrus fruits. I probably should have mentioned those. Other the lemons and limes are in there as well, and that sort of dials back that overall big dominance of grapefruit. But I'm getting a pink grapefruit vibe straight away from it. But there's tropical goodness as well in, in the rest of it. It's a really good beer, and I'm giving it 15 for my overall experience. Top those scores up. I don't want to feel that, you know, with Polly's, I, I am a little biased because I do love them. I, I love the can now. I love the fact they've released lots of different stuff. But it's it's up there. It's up there with their with their some of their best IPAs. It gets 81. It's a highly recommended beer. So balm. I mean, again, you, there's so many different releases, it's so easy to miss some of these. But I'm quite surprised how a little bit different it is than, you, than your normal polys. Something probably to do with that Vic Secret. It's now I'm, I really like this flavour and I'm now thinking I want to find more stuff with Vic Secret in it because I think it just adds something to that Citra Mosaic in this beer. Really good beer. And again, I mean, I'm interested if you've ever said, well, what's your favourite polys? Because they make so many good ones. It'd be difficult for me to come up with my favourite one because they come through so so often um but you know this is a very very good polly's beer you know and they already do lots of really good stuff 
So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope you're not getting it too sort of overrun by polys, but you know, I think if you're not tried polys, not drinking, and give yourself, do yourself a favor, go on their website. They've got lots of new beers on there. You could probably buy eight or nine different types of beer from them at the moment. Um, and as I say, their prices are very, very reasonable and they're very good quality. They are, they are, you know, they are biting on the heels of the likes of your days and the dance and track and placey people like that, Northern Monk. To me, they are, in my opinion, they're, they're top three for me. So um, I really love them because I think that they're consistently good. And I love the fact that they release lots of different new beers all the time. So there's my review. Hope I haven't gone on too long today. And until the next one, you know what you're going to do. Keep on rocking.